Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. And today we're here to talk about the Core Essentials EDC belt. So stay tuned. Before we start getting into the belt, just full disclosure, just want to let you know that Core Essentials did reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to review another one of their belts. And I love the first one so much that I instantly agreed to say yes to a second one. Now the first one that I had was a 1.75 uh, inch belt. This is a 1.5, which for me is going to work a whole lot better um, because I can just do more with it. Uh, with the 1.75 is great for um, when I'm wearing a holster for outdoor training and all that kind of stuff because it's outside the waistband holster, but most of my other holsters all are 1.5 inch. So this was perfect. So as you can see, the color I got was nice. Coyote Brown. Um, this is your belt keeper right here. Very cool looking buckle. And they also sit along with it. This right here, it's a belt protector. A little nylon sleeve that slips over your belt so you can take this on or off depending on if you're carrying or not. Um, now if you're not familiar with Core Essentials and what type of belts these are, it's a like ratcheting system of a belt. So as you notice, there's no belt holes on here at all because on your, all your traditional belts, you have a hole that's spaced out every so often. And the disadvantage of that is, depending on if you're carrying or not, like sometimes your size may change a little bit and you may be in between holes, right? Like, so like you can't get a perfect fit because it's either too tight or too loose. Well, this uses these little ratcheting systems right here where you can, and as you will hear, have very small adjustments to get the perfect fit for your belt when you're either carrying or when you're not. Um, so it has this little lever right here. This is what will loosen up the ratcheting system. And then this way, oops, just pulls right out, right? So that's just absolutely perfect. Um, now, to kind of give you an idea of what you get in the box, you get this bag right here. Sorry for all the stuff falling. <laughs> I'm switching rooms for my YouTube room. Um, my daughter, we moved her bedroom and this used to be her bedroom and so I haven't gotten everything set up just yet. So bear with me on that. But you get this nice little cool carrying bag. Um, obviously you're probably not gonna carry your belt around in this but it can definitely be used for a lot of small gear uh, when you're either in your EDC bag or if you're going out camping, hiking, backpack and all that kind of stuff. Um, does give you a little brochure and a guide to how to set your belt up. And the reason why I say that is because the belt that you get is one really long belt. Like I have now trimmed this one down. This is the leftover piece. So what they tell you is, and it'll say here in the guide, which I will point out to you. All right, so this gives you the max length of the belt right here. But what it's gonna tell you is for your EDC gun belts, right? This can carry up to four pounds, or no, tacticals up to eight pounds. So that's kind of awesome. That way you know, I mean, cause this is an extremely rigid belt. I mean, it is very, very rigid. You're not bending that very easily. But it'll tell you on here, and I took some pictures. I'm gonna be posting this all on Instagram. But basically what you're gonna do is you get one really long belt. You're gonna cut it from this end, which is the buckle end to whatever your normal belt size is, plus a little bit extra. So uh, so for gun belts, you're going to add three to four inches beyond your normal belt size. So I think I did mine just a little bit longer so I can actually cut it down if I needed to. But what you see here is these two little screws that come included along with two extra and the Allen wrench. Hopefully that will focus so that you can screw this down. So the end that you cut, you're gonna slide into here. And then this little lever right here, you're going to, it will be sticking out as you put the belt in. And then you're gonna press this down and kind of lock it into place. And so what you will see is then when you put it on, perfection, right? And like I said, the reason why this is so awesome is because once you put it on, and I mean, I've had a number of belts is that once you put it on, and especially if you're carrying inside the waistband, you, especially with a traditional belt with just holes in it, 
you may not be able to get that perfect fit without having to drill extra holes into your belt because you just need a little extra adjustment but you can't get there so that's why this is so awesome is it gives you such small i believe they're quarter inch uh adjustments and then of course you get a really cool looking belt buckle there's a variety of colors variety of buckles um so you can actually kind of assemble your own belt so to speak um and then i really like this because this is going to protect your belt so if you're uh, carrying concealed your belt clip is going to go over it and you're not going to slowly over time wear out the outside of your belt um, uh, also it comes with a belt hanger right which is really cool because typically what i've always done in the past is either just hung them from the belt loop around the top of a hanger or just roll them up and try to hopefully organize them in my sock drawer this you're just going to push down and then you can have these hanging up in your belt in your closet and just to get it off you're just going to pull that little lever or push it in and just come right out you don't even have to take this off of the hanger in your closet so once again just push in comes right out locks into place and this way you can neatly store all your belts and i'll tell you right now after you get one of these you're probably going to want to get a couple uh, especially if you're really picky about the color of your belt matching what you're wearing. Um, this one I liked because the other one I got was black. This one I really like because even though it's more of a coyote brown, it still works really well as just an EDC belt, one that I can go to work with, right? Um, I teach as my full-time job. And so, I mean, just looks like a normal belt, doesn't look like a tactical belt. Um, and then, but also when I'm working at the range as my second job, I can throw a pair of multicam pants and this just blends right in with it and looks perfect. I mean, it's just everything about this belt I absolutely love and I think you will too, just because, like I said, these micro adjustments just make it perfect. This belt keeper is a little nylon keeper, so what you will want to do with this, uh, since I haven't mentioned that, is, um, Run the belt through the first loop and then put the belt keeper on and then run your belt the rest of the way through so that way it'll be at the right spot when you need to. Um, depending on your pants, like I do have some where it has belt loops that are really close together, you may need to get it through the second loop first, um, but you'll find that out once you start messing with it and using it. But I'll tell you what guys, this has been an amazing belt, extremely comfortable, extremely durable, and I absolutely love it. All right, guys, hopefully this will help you in your purchasing decisions of a new EDC belt. Definitely got to check out Core Essentials. They're awesome. You'll love it. I guarantee it. All right, guys, in the meantime, be prepared, have fun, and check out Core Essentials. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, guys, I can't just believe I went through a whole video and didn't even show you what the belt looks like on. <laughs> All right, so here we go. If you want to look at it, I'll actually bring it down here a little closer. This way you can see what it looks like on. Let me throw the belt keeper around here so you can see how that looks on it. And so, like I was saying before, the reason this is so awesome is, let me try brightening this up a little bit, see if that helps. It's kind of hard to get this little light in this room right because I just started filming in it. All right, so if, let's just say you had it on like this, as you can see, you got where the clip goes over the nylon belt protector, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's just say you put it on and you're like, hey, that's just a little bit too tight. You're literally just gonna push that button in. You can loosen it up a little bit. Or let's just say you put it on and you're just like, hey, this is way too loose. It moves around too much. All you gotta do is just hold your buckle, pull, and you can make those tiny little micro adjustments to actually make your uh, holster fit perfectly. It's absolutely incredible. I'll give you a walk around. But man, I'm telling you, there's a reason why I love this belt. They are durable, they are comfortable, and of course, stylish. I mean, I really like these belts, guys. All right, guys. Once again, hopefully this will help you in your purchasing decisions of finding a new EDC gun belt. Check out Core Essentials, guys. You're going to love them.